Time to fire up that oven and your taste buds with these baked chicken tacos. Perfect for an easy weeknight meal or a casual family gathering. Hi, I'm Tara the Foodie and I take the mystery out of cooking for you. Ahora vamos a cocinar. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is make the avocado lime crema. So what you need is what I have here, two avocados, two cloves of garlic, a quarter cup of cilantro leaves, two tablespoons of lime juice, a half a cup of sour cream, and salt and pepper to taste. First, we're going to cut into these avocados and scoop out the flesh. Once you've cut them in half, you can go ahead and just take a spoon and scoop out the flesh into your food processor. Or you could use a blender if you don't have a food processor. And then we'll pop in our cilantro, our two garlic cloves, two tablespoons of lime juice, which I don't know how much this actually is, so I have to. <laughs> Let me get into our bag here. Of amazing. Everybody has a bag of, of mismatched mesh, bullshit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out, and this is a half tablespoon, and we're gonna put in two tablespoons of lime juice. And then we have a half a cup of sour cream, and then we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And just put the top on your food processor and process until smooth. Look at the surviving avocado. <laughs> what the hell? Look, you gotta do what, you, what I want you to do here. Get in there. Okay, let's see if we can grind that stubborn avocado up. There you have the avocado crema, beautiful green color. I'm just gonna try a little taste, make sure that it's seasoned correctly and all that good stuff. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the refrigerator so that it can chill. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> he won't. He wants to be bro? a part of this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator now and let it chill while we get the tacos ready. It's going in the fridge. Next, you wanna go ahead and put together your chicken filling. This is super easy. I already have the fire on at about medium. So we'll add about a tablespoon's worth of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add my onion. This is a small onion chopped. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Yeah. And then we'll add our red bell pepper. This is one whole red bell pepper chopped. And then we're gonna add one large jalapeno pepper chopped. And we'll give that a stir first. And just look at these colors. The colors of Mexico. And then we can go ahead and add our three cloves of crushed garlic. And stir that in. Now it's really gonna start to smell awesome. Then go ahead and grab your salt and just salt to taste so we get the, the flavors of the pepper, onion, and garlic to kind of punch up. Give it another stir. Just in these few minutes of sauteing these vegetables, you can already see that the onion is pretty translucent. And that's really what you're going for. You just want them to begin to cook. So now we'll go ahead and add our four cups of shredded rotisserie chicken. This is a great shortcut for this recipe. You can definitely cook your own chicken or use leftover chicken and shred that up, up to you. But I went ahead and just grabbed a rotisserie chicken, brought it home, shredded it up. What an exciting house. <laughs> an Thank exciting you. house filming our next episode and over here <laughs> got my mom and dog napping <laughs> rough day they are they are getting their energy up for these amazing tacos mm. yeah she's awake <laughs> okay now we are going to add our black beans this is optional if you're not into beans leave this part out but oh it just it adds another layer of flavor and texture in these tacos. So if you do like beans, I highly suggest adding these. So this is a, just one can of black beans that are drained and rinsed off. 
And we'll stir those in. And now for the sauciness, we are going to add some canned red enchilada sauce. So this is a larger can of enchilada sauce. It's two cups worth. I'm going to add a little at a time. And really what you need to do for this recipe is just add as much enchilada sauce as you want, however saucy you want your chicken mixture to be. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in now. So I'll try this much and see how this goes. Yeah, it seems like chicken does absorb a lot of fluids. When yeah, you're... I'm gonna put in more. Oh, it smells so good. It basically just smells like chicken enchiladas now. And we only have a little left, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So this is the consistency that we're looking for. You can see that the sauce is clinging to the chicken but it's not, if I move the chicken away, you don't see a big pool of sauce either. So I would say this is the right amount of sauce to this amount of chicken and beans. And again, this was four cups of shredded chicken and then one can, about 15 ounces or so of black beans. So now this is pretty much heated through and ready to go. That's really it. You can go ahead and turn off your heat And now it's time to assemble the tacos. So the first thing you wanna do is spray your sheet pans. So I'm gonna use my favorite cooking spray, this avocado spray, and just lightly spray each sheet pan. Comes out fast. <laughs> this is how you do it. You're going to take one tortilla and place it down in the vicinity of where it's going to end up. And now you've got the cooking spray on your tortilla. So next, just take a couple of scoopfuls of your chicken mixture. Whoa. <laughs> and you wanna fill half of your taco. And then just take a big old handful pinch of your shredded cheese. I'm using like a, a Mexican blend of cheese. Just take a handful and sprinkle it onto the chicken mixture. And then just fold over the tortilla and press down so that it stays shut. And now it can stay right there and we're gonna move on and do all the other tacos until we run out of mixture or we run out of room on these sheet pans. So I have 12 filled taco shells ready for the oven. I have preheated my oven to 425 degrees. And as you can see, I have enough filling left for about one more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this for, I don't know, lunch tomorrow. <laughs> put them on my eggs. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a 425 degree oven for eight minutes. And then I'm gonna pull them out flip them over and put them in for another eight minutes. All right, eight minutes. So I'm gonna shut the timer off and take out the tacos so we can flip them over. Ooh, they're starting to melt. Okay, I'm just gonna put them up here. And now, I'm going to flip them over. So I'm, I'm choosing a longer spatula. I think it will help me to get a good you know, grip on these. And I'm just gonna flip them over. Boop. This kind of helps flatten them down too. All right, all good, all good. Turn this one over. I hear my mom drinking all my bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she never wants her own glass, but she does really like to drink out of Juicy Joe's glass. <laughs> so now, we're gonna place these back in the oven for another eight minutes or until they are nice golden brown and crunchy on top. I am ready. <gasps> All right, so we've kept them in longer because we want them to be nice and golden brown and crunchy. So mm. here is what we have now after a handful of more minutes. <laughs> I don't know how long. <laughs> oh, look. 
They're ooey gooey oozing and just delicious all over the place. You had them in there a little more than. Uh, I did, yeah. Eight minutes. I don't on know, the probably side. another ten minutes at least. I think. Definitely keep them in for eight minutes for the first side, eight to ten, whatever, and then flip them over, and then keep them in for at least another eight minutes. But then take a look, and are they as done as you want them to be? How crispy do you want them to be? How brown? do you want them to be? It's really up to you. So this is what I was looking for. You can, you know, kind of listen <laughs> that, you know, they're, they're crunchy. They're golden brown. And I wanted the edges to be, you know, kind of uh, browning as well, like of the cheese and stuff. That is what I was looking for. What you're gonna do now is let them sit on these sheet pans to cool down, which let's go ahead and turn off the oven. <laughs> That'll help. Let them cool down a bit. They'll set up, they'll get even crunchier. They'll cool down so you don't burn the hell out of your mouth when you actually go to eat them. Basically, it'll be very easy to just pick one up and just crunch away at it. So we're gonna let these sit up for a little bit and then it will be time to taste. And because of the lime juice, the avocado did the turn. Huh? Right, exactly. Mm. That looks so delicious. Yeah. These turned out exactly how I wanted them to. They crisped up nicely in the oven, which, you know, you're always a little bit nervous. Like, is it going to crisp up? Is it, you know, I, I'm not frying it. Is it going to crisp up? You know, but it does. It's the avocado spray. You know, you, you, got, you have a little oil on your tortillas and that helps the crispiness. And just leaving it in the oven for as long as you need to, for it to get again to the crispiness that you want. So yeah, this is what I wanted. They look delicious. And it's my favorite time of every video, time to taste. So the great thing about these tacos, aside from the fact that they are super easy to put together and wonderful to feed a crowd with, is you can just pick them up, you know, the whole taco. Just pick it up. <laughs> You know, it's, I'm telling you, when, once they sit for a little bit, they're very easy to handle. And you know, this would be great for kids to just pick up and just go to town on. So I'm just gonna pick up this whole taco, dip it in this wonderful avocado lime crema and go to town. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. That is amazing. That is so good. <laughs> the texture of the taco. You've got some crunchy parts. You've got the texture. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Somebody else would like to try these tacos. <laughs> Are you part of this tasting Are dough? Are you part of this tasting? You want a little piece? What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, the kids are starting to come downstairs. They are ready to eat. <laughs> These are awesome. The, the flavor of the chicken, the enchilada sauce, the peppers, the onions, the beans, the cheese, it all just you know comes together. The avocado lime crema, it really does pair with it wonderfully. This is just a super easy meal, fun to eat, and perfect for your next Taco Tuesday. I'm Tara the Foodie, taking the mystery out of cooking for you and I will see you next time. Get it on. <laughs> you see that dog? All right, we can eat. Look, it's got my lipstick on it. Does it really? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Do a little, 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 little mouth exercise. <laughs> yeah, yellow Scotch. leather, red leather, yellow leather. Scotch, 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 Scotch. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna read the first part that you won't see me say, so I'm just gonna read it. Time to fire up that. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon barrel. Okay. Now I have to say this. <laughs> Ahora vamos a cocinar. Did I say it all right? Okay. Ahora, what is it? I'll do it one more time. Okay. Ahora vamos a cocinar. <laughs> Ahora vamos a cocinar. We'll use the last one. Okay.
Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just so you know, foodies, she does do some of the cleaning too. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, nobody sees this. It's all Juicy Joe cleans all the time. Tear doesn't. <laughs> all the I've time. I've been cleaning all day while he's taking a nap on the couch. Watching the brown <laughs> Yeah. Just wanted to easily. B-roll swear time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not allowed Body to be. Body mouth. Oh, is that the cutter? Oh, good job, Tara. You just threw out the cutter, you jackass. <laughs> I hate this cling wrap. Now it's even more annoying. Until we run out of filling or we run out of mood. <laughs> Fuck. Get it, babe. Until we run out of filling or we run out of room. <laughs> <God. laughs> Why? B-roll. <laughs> Outtakes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to show my face because it's going to be We got help with the uh, B-roll camera <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got some more producers here yeah. today. You know, don't get like this. Tuesday tacos. Tuesday tacos? Yeah. Where I think they're a dollar or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tuesday tacos. <laughs> 